Hello everybody, um, here I sit at the burrow of a favourite friend of safari lives and many of you will know of course the sad tale of Pinchy Winer, the freshwater crab, lonely fellow that he is and possibly was. He used to live in this puddle, uh, when it is a puddle, and this is his burrow here. Now, a little while back I came upon this area hoping to see Pinchy and there was some water here, but a buffalo had sat in this puddle and its large bottom had squashed over Pinchy's burrow and I thought, well, that's it for Pinchy. And then I dug it out and I just kind of opened it up again and hoped to see him again. And what I've discovered today is what I think is very fresh excavations. Can you see this kind of stony sand over here? Can you? Mike's just, it's bl blipping in and out. It's blipping in and out. Yeah, Shall I show you that? Is that? Does that help? It's over here. Uh, well, Not helping. It's clear now. It's clear now. Just careful that it doesn't get. Right there, everybody. You can see the excavation of Pinchy Winer. He's definitely been digging out that sandy little or that stony bit of sand there and then when I look inside which you won't be able to see but I will just do it for effect it goes a long way down that hole so I think he's actually probably alive and well and we might see him again when the rains eventually come now he has a friend a very far away from here called Squeezy Dyson and Squeezy Dyson lives on in a pan very similar to this on Twin Dams Road, quite a long way to the east. Whether they'll ever actually meet each other, I'm not sure, but wouldn't it be a romantic story? The story of Pinchy Winer and Squeezy Dyson and their budding romance across the plains of Juma. All right, on we go.